Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over an exercise where we're going to find a critical point of a given function. Here, the function is, is a rational function, which is the quotient of two different functions, 4x and x squared plus 1. At this moment, I want to remind you the definition of a critical number. So if a function f is defined at c and f prime at c is equal to zero or f prime is not differentiable at the given point, then c is called a critical number of f. In the next step, we're going to look for points that make f prime either zero or undefined. And now let's go ahead and then find f prime since we have the quotient of two functions. So we're going to use the quotient rule to take the derivative of f. All right, so we have the derivative of 4x, that's equal to 4. So 4 times x squared plus 1 minus 4x times the derivative of x squared plus 1. By using the power rule, this is just 2x. And this is all divided by the bottom squared. All right, if we expand out the top, you have 4x four, four squared plus 4 minus 8x squared. So if you simplify that, you have minus 4x squared plus 4 divided by the bottom squared. For the expression of f prime, we're going to check two different things. One is uh, the x points that make f prime zero, and in the, and also we're going to look for x's that make this function undefined. So let's start with the first one. So to solve this equation, we're going to do the cross product. I'm going to put a one here, hypothetical one, as if this is a quotient as well, so that I can do the cross product here. So well, why don't we add four x squared to the both sides of the equation? And now we have 4x squared equals 4, simplifying 4s here. So we're solving x squared equals 1. We have two solutions for that. One is negative 1. The other one is one. right for the second part. So we're going to look for x's where f prime is undefined. Well, since it's a rational expression, f prime is undefined only if the bottom of the, the quotient is 0. But as you see, 1 plus x squared can never, ever be 0. So there's no way that you have an x that makes the bottom of the quotient 0. So basically, for, for this problem, there's no x. There is no x for this one. In other words, f prime is defined for every single x. So to sum up, the only critical numbers we have uh, are negative 1 and 1. Here is a graphical outlook of the function f of x, 4x equals x squared plus 1. We found the critical points to be negative 1 and 1. As you see, these correspond to those dots on the curve. And we know that critical points produce relative extrema. And, and for x equals 1, we have a relative maximum. And for x equals negative 1, you have a relative minimum. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.